Hey, and welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. If you like the video tonight, please give it a thumbs up. Today we're going to look at on the ISX or X15, it's the same on both engines, the oil pressure temperature sensor and then the oil pressure sensor. Now, if you owned an orig original signature or the first generation of ISX or an ISX 870, this might have been a combo sensor. It was a combo sensor on the original ISX and on the ISX 870 it was a combo sensor and I think they split it off somewhere on the 871 early on to two separate sensors. The reason they did that is they had uh, problems with the original sensor which was a four wire sensor and it had a small it was a brass sensor with a brass tube that went down into an oil oil rifle and then it had a small gray colored tip on it and that was a thermistor and they had some trouble with that thermistor failing and the oil temperature was off and then the whole sensor had to be thrown away it got to be an expensive sensor they were able to make the sensor much more reliable if you split the temperature into one, which would be a two-wire sensor, and the pressure into another, which would be a three-wire sensor. On the uh, ISX uh, or the X15, same engine, different generation, uh, the oil pressure was always measured with a sensor, not a switch. Some of the mid-range engines like the B and the L9, they switch from a three-wire sensor to a two-wire or even a one-wire switch. And if you had any oil pressure at all, it opened or closed the switch, depending on the logic. And the ECM knew you had oil pressure. But on the X, they wanted to know what the oil pressure was at all times, because it could be too low at idle, it could be too low in mid-range, it could be too high. So they needed to uh, control that, because it was a little more complex of an oiling system on the X. The sensors are located not close to each other but in the same rifle. So we're going to work, take a look and see the difference. The two wire sensor which is the temperature sensor is towards the front of the engine. You'll see where in a moment. And it is a signal and a return and the signal wire basically sends out a voltage and then uh, the sensor is a variable uh, resistor that changes resistance by temperature. They call that a thermistor. I don't know if it's positive or negative coefficient. I can't tell you that. I don't remember. But anyway, that's how that works. And it sinks more and more voltage to ground as the temperature of the oil either gets warmer or cooler. That's where the coefficient thing comes in. And then the ECM looks at the voltage drop that's in the, the signal that it's sending to the sensor and it knows uh, what, the t what the temperature is. The way that it does that is it sends out a voltage signal that has a very limited current to it so that if there's any loss in that, in that voltage at all, if there's any draw in the voltage at all in terms of microamps of cur current, the voltage will start to drop and then it's sensing what the voltage is and that's how it knows what the temperature is. It converts voltage to temperature on the dash for us. The pressure sensor is a three wire sensor, five volt feed, ground, and then the signal wire going back to the ECM is always somewhere between 0.69 and four, a little over four volts for oil pressure. So let's take a look now at where those sensors are. So here we are, and there is the oil temperature sensor. It's in the oil rifle. Just to the front of it, you can see there's a test port you could put a fitting in. Uh, where are we on the engine? Well, you're looking at the fuel filter. In the front corner over here, you're looking at the air compressor, the back of the air compressor. There's probably going to be a power steering pump bolted there when this engine's in a chassis. So you're not going to be able to see that oil temperature sensor. It's going to be well hidden. And so, but at least you'll know where to look for it. 
Now let's move on to the oil pressure sensor. I'm holding a harness back here. The ECM is not bolted on this engine. And the oil pressure sensor is right here. And yes, when the ECM's on and the engine harness and the OEM harness are in place, you can't see that sensor. You have no idea where it is. But now you know where it is and how to find it. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe. See you next time.